Hi YouTube, how are you? Um, thank you for joining me today. I'm actually... Um, hi. Hi, baby. I know the boys are outside. This is Millie. If you haven't seen her, she was in my other video. Kind of, a little bit. Okay, so the purpose for this video is... I have recently became a shipped shopper. Yes, a ship shopper. Um, it was a very interesting to get started. I actually applied, I applied about, I don't know, four months ago, and it took them that long to actually ex accept me and, you know, to hire me on. <clears throat> but I wanted to, what? Sorry, my dog. Something nuts. So I wanted to actually, um, give you guys a little insight on what happened to me i was so excited i've been i mean i love shopping i shop for us all the time um but i wanted to share my experience with you on my first delivery so <laughs> i was so excited i was like okay when i get home you know i'm gonna i'm gonna go and shop here come um, the kids you kicked a nut on your head? Yes. So I wanted to share my experience with you. So I was super excited. Um, I, when I came home from work, I was going to do a, um, a shop. I just wanted to try it out. I wanted to get everything set up, good to go, just to see how it was. So I get home. I try and put a picture of myself, you know, because it says to put a photo of you so that they know who's shopping for them. Cool. Every time I went to try it, like to, to put on my photo, I either picked from your gallery or you could take a picture. So I was trying to pick from my gallery. Every time I did, boom, it would take me out of the app. So I'm like, okay, this sucks. So I tried that like four or five times and every single time it would boof, take me out of the app so I was like okay well let me try to take a picture of myself like where it says take a photo so I take a photo it lets me take a photo and then I go okay to accept it and then boof takes me out again so I'm I'm, I'm really frustrated at this time and I'm like okay well forget it then I won't put a picture of myself so what you know I'll do it later um, so I go to the open metro orders and I find one and it's not that big. I think it was like, I don't know, 13 items or something. For me, it would be simple because I go to the store and I always overdo myself. But okay, so I go, take my phone and I think the first thing I get is in the household, okay? So I think it's um, toiletries. So I, I get it. I see it. I know it's the right thing. And on the app it says scan barcode. Or I mean it says um, add to cart. Or, and, then it, and then it has like a little thing on the side of the barcode. So I was like, oh, well, let's just do this. It's easier. Let me just, excuse me. Let me just scan it. So I press scan it. And... You could see it, the scan comes up and then it goes away. And then it takes me out of the app. Ooh, I was so frustrated at that time. So I was like, crap. I was like, let me try it again. So I tried it again. Takes me out of the app. So I'm like, okay, well, you know what? I know I have the, the right thing in my hand. I know the quantity's right. I know it's the right brand. Let me just add it to the cart. So I add it to the cart. Cool. I was like, man, okay, that would be a lot easier. I just need to find the right product, right? Next one comes. Boom. I can't do the scan. So I add it to the cart. I know it's right. Then it comes to canned goods. It comes to the grocery area now. Mm-mm. All it has at the bottom is scan barcode, big green thingy, scan barcode. I go to scan barcode, doesn't let me do it. 
Now, my heart is like this. I'm like, what do I do? I was freaking out. <laughs> my first shop, okay? Can you imagine how terrified I was? I was already nervous. Why? I don't know, because I shop all the time. But I was nervous already. And then go, and I can't scan a damn barcode. I, I, had to, I had to call customer service and be like, what do I do? I have no idea. This is my first shop, and it's, it's getting to me already. And I feel like just leaving. And they were like, no, no. They, they, and I got to say this. Shipped has awesome customer service. They really, really, truly care about their customers and their shoppers um the guy helped me really i mean he was really really nice and basically what he told me to do was go to um item not found which probably isn't the best way because um what do you call it <sighs> to substitute well yeah maybe it was i don't know i don't know i'm still new at this i this will be my third day doing it, but I'm doing it part-time, so I wait for my husband and come home. Whatever. But, um, and I'm a stay-at-home mom. So, um, homeschooling. <laughs> so, okay, so what I ended up doing with almost every single item on there, um, was saying that I didn't find the item, and then I had to go and customize an item, like, to add something. So I literally had to write it down, I had to type it out, and then I had to put the quantity, and then I had to put how much it was on every single item. Maybe four items I didn't have to. Out of that whole order, I was so irritated. I got an instant headache. Instant, instant, um, what kind of headache do you call that? Stress headache. I was so stressed out. My eyes were bloodshot red. Yeah, it sucked. So I pay for it. All that went smooth. Thank goodness. So I check out. I put the... Um, I was going to process the order and everything once I was already over there. Because it was already almost time for my delivery window. So I didn't want to... Um, to the, I didn't want to have a late delivery. So And it wasn't that far. It was like six minutes away. So... I go and I put the their address in on the map quest and I just press it and it takes me, which is awesome. So I get there, drop off the deliveries, and, and these people were, they were, I don't know, I think they were drinking already. It was already late. And so um, um, I do that and then I get back in the car and I go to process my order, okay? Now mind you, when you process the order, you have to take a picture of the receipt. I was kind of panicking at that point because I knew my camera wasn't working. I knew the app was acting dumb. I go to process order. And then it says, are you sure? Yes, I am sure I want to process it. Because I need a mark that I had it delivered so I don't get a late on my thing. So, I put in the amount, or I know, I put in the receipt thingy, right? I, I have to manually type it in because my scanner doesn't work, okay? I press go, and then it says, okay, enter the amount on how much it was. I enter the amount, and I'll take a picture. I take a picture, press okay, nothing happens. Takes me back to the beginning. Christina I did it like three times and I said you know what forget this I'm going home and my house is just around the corner I go home and thank goodness my mom was home she came to visit and she was waiting for me to come home and so I used her phone so luckily my mom was home and she's got like the brand new Samsung, whatever. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do this on your app, on, on your phone. So I download the app and I still have maybe like 12 minutes left in the in the delivery window or whatever. 
So I don't know why I was so stressed out about that part, but um, so I download the app, I get everything done, I go to the orders, I take a picture, and I process it. And boom, it was good, right? Okay, wait, no, it wasn't good. It didn't let me process those. It took the picture and everything, but it wasn't, it said something about, you can't process, you can't process this if it's zero on the, um, the order. So it basically was saying that I didn't, that I didn't buy anything. But I did because everything was checked out on my phone, but on my mom's phone it wasn't. So <sighs> it was horrible. Everything that happened on that ship was horrible. Or on that delivery, my bad. At the very end, though, I ended up talking to somebody. And so, all in all, it just ended up being that my phone was out of memory. It was running low or something, so I said, F it. I am going to put my phone back to factory mode and take off all the junk that was on there. I mean, my kids would play with it all the time with downloading um, the games and whatnot, all this dumb stuff. And so I'm just thinking whatever they were playing with was eating up my memory. So like I said, I wiped it clean now my phone works like a charm and so that next not Saturday because I was a Sabbath so we don't buy or sell or anything on that day but Sunday Sunday morning I was like you know what I think my phone and like now my phone let me take my picture I could put my picture on there um so I was like oh my gosh I think it's gonna work now so I was like, let me give it a try. Let me go on Sunday morning and let me try a little one, a little order. Like, I think my, I think it was nine. I was like, this is perfect. I found it on the open metro. I was like, let me do it. I don't care if I'm going to get six to eight dollars. I don't care. I just want to try it. Make sure it works. But I think it was like nine. I think I ended up getting nine bucks or something like that on that one. But yeah, so I was like, let me try it out. I went and it was so smooth nine or nine items and I was like this is what I'm talking about like I can do this that I swear that took me like 15 20 minutes to get in and out of that store and then um no okay not to get in and out but like to shop for it and so yeah ever since I wiped my phone clean it's been awesome with that one day it Oh, and the thing that gets me is those people, the first ones that I went to that I was so stressed out on, they didn't even tip me. Oh, I was so upset. And I even let them know, too, uh, that it was my first shop and that I had a horrible time. And not because of their order. It was me. It was my phone. And so I let them know and that I was so sorry, whatever. So... Like I said, I even told them that it was my first shop and I was stressed out because my phone wasn't working and I had to do so much extra stuff. So they know that I had a hard time. They could see it on my face. Well, I try not to show it, but they knew that my eyes were red unless they thought they were red for another reason. Oh gosh, I hope not. But I wasn't. I, sw I swear. <laughs> okay, so... Anyways, and then they were telling me, you know, I took the groceries. I really didn't want to go in the house, but they were like, okay, come on, can you bring them in? I'm like, oh my God, okay. It was already late, and it was two girls and a guy. And they were like, yeah, um, you could see that there's three of us here, but um, yeah, we just, um, we're just lazy. We don't like to go to the store. And I was like, oh, well, you know, that's why we're here, to help you guys out, you know, trying to be nice about it. But I just wanted to get the heck out of there and go f try and figure out what the heck was going on with my stuff. So, anyways, moral of that one is they didn't even tip me. Super sad. But I did it. Okay, so I did it on that day, which I should have never done. But I did it that day and I got that one. And then the next day, oh, no, on, and then on Sunday, I did four, actually. My last one was a um, a batch, and I well 
after I looked it up, I saw that it was for experienced. The experienced shoppers should probably would be able to take on the batch. I took on a batch, <laughs> not knowing it was for experienced shoppers. But anywho, I, I can get into that story if you want me to too, but I'll just stick with how many I did. I did, so I did four on Sunday, one on Friday, so in total I did five. And I made $75! I was so excited. So, out of those five orders, three of them tipped me $5. So, that, that made me happy. After a while, I was getting kind of discouraged because I was looking on there and nobody had tipped but one lady, one nice little lady. And I was like, really? Is this the way it's going to be? That sucks. Like, I don't know if it's worth it. And, you know, these people, they don't want to tip. But no, three of them out of the, out of the five did. And that, that kind of brought my spirits back up. But $75 for five orders? Like, that's awesome. And, that, and it's not like I did it all day. I, I came home. I, uh, I did it in the morning. I came home, made breakfast for the family, and then I was like, eh, let me go try another one. So I found another one on the Metro Orders, and I, and then I came home, I was like, oh cool, that one was fast. And then my husband, like we went out and we went to the park, and we finished up a little bit of my restroom, and, and then um, after we came back from the park, my husband was like, you can do one more, right? And I was like, yeah, I can do one more, I can do two more if I want to, but... And then that's when I saw the batch, and that one was like, I don't know, 22 bucks. And so I was like, heck yeah, I was like, that's a quick, a quick 22 bucks. And it was only like, I don't know, 32 items. So I was like, it can't be that bad. One, one, one order was nine items, which was cool. Okay, that's easy. The other one was 26. And did I tell you it was Sunday evening? It was like 5 o'clock. The worst time to go shopping for a batch. If it was just that one, that would have been fine. But oh my gosh, what was I thinking? I did it though. I made it on time to both of them. Was it stressful? Yeah. Would I do it again? Not anytime soon. Actually, no, I take it back. I would do it again if it was smaller orders, like 9 and 9, not 9 and 26 or 9 and 30. No, thank you. My kids are driving me loca. So I'm going to cut this short. Well, I don't know if it was short, but I'm going to cut it off now. But just want to let you know how my experience has been with shipped, And I like it. I really do. I, I want to go right now, but I can't because I have kids. So I got to wait for the hubby to get home. And then when he gets home, I'll probably do one or two. And that's it. And I'll let you guys know how that goes. But homeschooling is going good. They're already done with their stuff, so that's why they're acting crazy. And they want to go skating, so i got to take them to the skate park now. But, yeah, let me know if you have any questions about shipped. I'm not saying I'm an expert, but I did do a batch. <laughs> I'm an expert now. But, um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe or not. It doesn't matter you want to come and check me out, check out my videos. I don't have that many. I think I have like three or two. But anyways, thank you.